Tales of the Crypt, 1989, The Pit, La 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 La. Deck the holes with Charlie, La 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 La. Make the YouTube gross and garly, La 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 La. Hello, hello, creeps. It's me, a favourite holiday spirit, doing a little Christmas decorating. Boy, I do love this time of year. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack's for snipping at your hay, Jack. Get away from me. I guess he's off my Christmas shopping list. Which brings me to mind tonight's terror tale about two martial artists who could do some chopping on their own in a tasteless fight to the finish. I call the pit. We're down to the final moments. Here in his brutal, almost sort play, raw power stand of the pit. Both of these fighters have endured moral punishment. The only fight that I can remember of vicious exchange, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe these guys are still on their feet. Will you look at the punishment each one is doing out? The punishment each one is taking. Scott is down by a vicious blow to his, the head. But he's back up. Unbelievable. Don't these guys know when to quit? What is it? When is their limit? How can they endure this much pain? Another vicious exchange of crushing reverse kick. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnson comes back with a quick exchange of blows. Never... In all my years of broadcasting, ever seen anything as vicious and fabulous as this fight? How can only, how can one only, how can any one human endure this? Oh, and a vicious cross to the face, screwing off. The one is standing very steadily, yet they're still viciously fighting it out. Another vicious cross a to the counter. Ladies and gentlemen, this can't go on much longer. The one has any strength left, man. It's critical. Do you think? That was really is amazing. Now, since the match was declared a draw, a certain amount of controversy developed to how it went or went down. I thought it was a good fight. Yeah, it was a clean fight. I mean, the people got their money's worth. Oh, of course, if I had another round, I would have finished it. Yeah, right. Hey, I had the only one, only knockdown, remember? Look, I still had you on points. All right, now... What about the rumours that Savitars forces judges to disqualify all weapons during the match? I mean, that could have affected the outcome. Yeah, well, any person who needed Savitars to win, help win the fight would have been Felix Johnson. Now, that's just a low life, low class kind of remark you expect for someone from Aldi Scott's background. Excuse me, Miss Private School. I just like, like to know if the even you ladies. Ever felt trapped in the shadows of your husbands? Have you ever considered resuming your own careers? Well, as long as promoters are willing to pay the same of women events to do for males, I'm more than happy to help that old Felix here bring home the breaking. Amazing. It's okay, I'll finally said something I can agree with. I mean, why should we go out and punish ourselves when these guys can make double, triple what we can? Besides, who would pay money to see burnt out? Has been like Audrey doing anything to set. Maybe it's her hair to see that what colour she's doing, using this month. If I hear that same Johnson, name Johnson one more time, I'm going to personally come down there, deep face of battery acid, send pictures to your kids. Don't care how you do it, Lou. All I care about is that Aaron gets his part. You tell those wimpy producers they can't make up their puny little minds. I'm going to pay them a visit and help focus their attention. I can't. I don't care if Schultzinger wants to bend over for all of them. You get Phoenix that part, or you're going to be dangling you know what from your over in state 10 during rush hour. My husband will be be the pole racer uh, or else. Gee, said Andrew, I have only eight tenths of a second off my pace. I'm not willing to concede eight, eight tenths or anything. That slime, Andrew Scott. Honey, yeah, going to slip out for a while. How about getting a little slippery right here first? Oh, come on, Andrew. Aiden, please. Come on, stop it. Come on, baby. Knock it off, you moron. I'm sorry, Aubrey. Look, why don't you order up some room service, watch a little free studios on TV? Be back in time to tuck you in. Okay? Okay. You hold that fault. Don't start without me, baby. It's got a drama. It's got drama, it's got papers, not to mention. Evelyn Hellerfield versus Mike Tyson, life in the interstate prison. What does it? What does he want? Jesus Christ! How the hell did this idiot 
ever become governor. Hold it, hold it. Tell me, what is his favourite perversion is? I've delivered it, the bell of the, I have it delivered, bells on. No, just call me when it's done. God, I'm bored. We have waited three years for this matchup. And we're not, we're not, we're not disappointed. Take a look at the action. It was wall to wall, non stop body blows, body slams, killer kicks. Just when you thought one had an advantage, here comes the other, exploding like a bomb. We knew there was no love between Scott Johnson and Scott. But it's unbelievable stuff. It's hard to imagine how one of them was going to beat the other without killing him first. Made of both better off the match was declared a draw. You know, world out west is to both these guys up a lead in 20th Century Fox, a film pro advisor. Supposed to be a war going, in, going on between Johnson, Scott's agents, and the witch, as they, as they each try to land a role for the client. Well, you tell that slut Andre Scott and that pro advisor it's an action drama, not slapstick comedy. Taped earlier news, 11, but she's determined and embarrassing her husband. Here they're ca- casting piece of county 10, excuse me, spelt's phase off. Oh gosh, Felix Johnson. Can't act his way out of the locker room. Tower fight. You know, I think the only reason producers are going through like this whole charade is for, for publicity. You know, maybe Andrea Felix of her future in game shows. I don't know. Be careful what you wish for, guys. You may get it. In other words, plenty of NFL action for you. In fact, Miss P, Miss P, give me Jude, Jude Co- Camberwell. Office in Hollywood. I get. I got a hundred million idea. Imagination rules. Death match. Johnson vs. Scott. Match of the century. Chaos in the cage. Is magnificent. Is this magnificent? The Romans would surely prove. You know. I remember staying up all night watching you when you won the gold medal in Barcelona. I'm sure you're going to turn pro after that. In fact, I was kind of looking forward to voting some kind of some special venture for you. For you, let me get this straight. You said emulation rules, yeah. No time limit, no restrictions, or move or moves or weapons. Everything goes, you know, till the man could seize. Is rendered totally unconscious. If I'm totally unconscious, kind of like your husband is already. I know I smell dead fish in there. Oh my my! Would you look at this? Would you look at this? You're even more beautiful. Than I saw you when you won the nationals. I remember this. Oh yeah, I remember that for night. Felix and I were stranded in a blizzard in Denver. Had a full fight in my match. Lucky break for you, Andrea. Listen, you bitch. I've already kicked your ass early this year in Josenberg. I had a flu. Well, I'll kick it again right here, right now, unless, of course, you're coming down with something. Are you forgetting Pittsburgh? May 92? No, I remember. Heard you only had, only had to fuck, what, two judges to win that one? Oh, you lying whore. Oh, to rip that, rip that ugly wig. You call your your hair off your head. You go ahead, baby. You give it your best shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Girls, girls. Let's try and be gentlemen about this, huh? Now, we're talking about 30 million per pay review subscriptions worldwide. Mention live game, not to mention HBO. The winner of the match will become the new star, the brand new fe- Fox feature, Pulverizer. Now, I just happen to have my, in my pocket inside contracts from Jude Cromwell's office guaranteeing the role to the winner. Now, I need to say more. Now let's get a grip with on this, girls. Am I in my scenario? Even a loser of the match. His wife, of course, are going to walk out of that pit with about 10 million. Now, that's enough dead presents to make everyone forget the little old Hollywood premiere. Did he agree? A in death match? How could you agree to that? It was a big deal. It only took you 10 minutes to put Hong Lee on permanent disability last year. Yeah, that's right, but Hong Lee's no Aaron Scott. Besides, the last time me and Felix went at it, Judge called it a draw. Well, that's not going to be any draws this time, baby. Listen, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, we're going to have to hurt each other. Oh, you're going to have to do more than hurt him. You're going to have to drop him dead. Well, not that kind of guy. He's cool. No, you don't like him. You hate him. He's a piece of sc- gum stuck on his shoe. This only even though I lose. I mean, we still be, be richer than God. Don't like give a rice ass about the money. I'm not above to let this about to let this stuck up box and bitch at no class Texas tramp that traded park trash get one over me oh my on oh me you wanna go in there you're gonna kick some butt you're gonna win that match and get me to Hollywood is that clear okay honey okay honey 
There, in the grand auditorium, Felix Johnson, best shape of his career, continues to trade for a long winning match with her and Scott. But this will be one of the biggest pay-per-view events in history. Now, if orders continue at their present rate, we're looking at a soldiers of 50 million people from 40 different countries. You OK? Yeah. We're in Dervish. We're in Dervish. Oh, well, said you're not put those... Said you could not put those two fights together. It's a promoted dream as somebody got security. Ladies and gentlemen, our minute hour is over. Say hello to the one, the only potential. For no more, Aaron Scott. Bitch, get him. Get him. There's really just a taste of what Bitch Johnson will be getting on this Friday night. Come on, Felix. You and me, right now. Come on, right. Come on, I'm going to kill her. Going to rip out her heart. Come on, you chicken shit. I'll take you right now. Come on, you bitch. Let's go right now. Right now. Right, bitch. Let go of me. Get the what the hell? Come on, I'm gonna kick your ass. Trust me, folks. You're never gonna see anything like this before. You never see it again. Johnson versus Scott. Case and Cage. Don't miss it. Wondering how much launch you need to get up that that platform? Nope. Wondering if Cody dung the coal good cactus fertilizer. I grown them, you know. No, I didn't. Cactuses, Katai. Got a whole farm of them in Arizona. I got those coyotes shitting all over the place. If they mess up my crop, I swear. I single it and put the little bastards in danger list, species list. Man's got to have a hobby, right? I mean, I can't keep doing this forever, can we? Yeah, it's going to be a mess, all right. I can end it, you bet. So can you can, you bet. How did it come to this, I wonder? I mean, how did we get it this far? The only two reasons I can think of, both of them female. Don't turn back now, I guess. You have any second thoughts? Not really. You know. I guess I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. I guess I am too, I'll take it. Just put it on your bill. A bill, yes, Andrew Johnson. What? That is my bitch. Hello, Andrew, Andrew Scott. Who is this? Are you sure? Are you sure about this? Damn her. I'm done. You can go. What the hell do you think you're doing? What the hell are you do- doing here? You first. Came here to see what the cheating low-life scum your husband is. Really? Looks like to me you're the only one doing the cheating, low life scum thing. Well, rumour has it that Felix modified his weapons, added a few nasty surprises. You know, you're such a lying sack of silicone. The surprise going on around here is how you, you actually thought you could sabotage his weapons. I don't need to sabotage his weapons. Felix is a loser. And again, I guess you knew that, know that. That's how he ended up with you, isn't it? Funny, you don't remember being the loser working in a Cleveland mud wrestling dump. That was just for an expedition. Oh, for two years, you know, Audrey? I didn't give a shit if a phallic fix gets a job done or not. All I care about is you never see the inside of a movie studio ever. Well, isn't that a shame? Because as soon as I get done kicking your gold plated fat ass, that has been in the locker room, I'm on the first page back to LA. What the hell? You, this is your doing. Fuck you. Underway. Lyle underway, like life in Las Vegas. Malaysian rules death match. Johnson versus Scott. Match at Central Chaos of the Cage. Come on. Man, Andrea, never hit me that hard. Yeah. Last Andrea, you used your claws like that. I've got three stitches in my back. Yeah, okay. Well, guys, the producers love the idea. And they're putting these writers on it first thing tomorrow. Yeah, well, how hard can it be to rewrite this movie script anyway? Yeah. Besides, I like buddy pictures. Hey, that makes two of us. I can see it now. The new Roman, Newman Rutherford, the now new Gordon Gibson. We've got Rob Johnson and Scott starring in the pulverizers. Pulverizers? What? They're going to kill each other down there. That's the whole idea, isn't it? I guess in the end, the choke was on the girls. Chokehold, that is. I know what. I don't know about you, kiddies. But my money's on Audrey. I think she's a little faster to the punch. You know how, what, the what? Well, you know what they say. The screen always rises. Now they're all done. Now I have to give a little eggnog. Listen. A few holiday tunes and wait for Santa Claus to come. Maybe I could throw another Yule log on the fire. I wonder how you will feel about that.